All right, well, I, uh, the Yomba's playing under, under the bridge. I thought I'd show you the little setup I got going here. All right, um, see this black pipe? That's uh, obviously my lure or my cash training pipe. Um, Ray Norton invented the idea. Oh, my mink's moving spots. I better watch where she goes. Hey, where are you going, little mink? You're supposed to stay under the bridge while I do my presentation. Go back under the bridge. Hurry, go back under the bridge. There she goes. Hurry, go under the bridge. If I scare her, usually she. There she goes. Hey. Oh, she's coming out. I need someone in a stroller or with a dog or something to come by. She'll go shooting under that bridge. Go hide under the bridge for a minute. Okay. There she goes. Okay. So back to my presentation. So, I think you guys have seen the backpack with the carrier in it. Um, I have the door tied open. See this little string? I could just loop it off to close it or loop it down and keep it open. That way it doesn't shut when I don't want it to. Great for uh, cash training and also great for while I'm traveling, I actually leave when I'm walking. I leave this open. Of course, there's bedding in there. It's a little towel, or a big towel, actually. So she can climb in and out of that backpack and onto my shoulder and into my hands and back in the backpack, whatever she wants to do. She's not trapped in there. And unless for some reason I need to shut the door, then I shut it. Then you see this big old long pipe. Makes for a wide load, but then I don't have to carry it. This is, of course, my cash training pipe. But I made some pretty cool um, additions to it, little, little add-ons. Okay, so first off, I tied my string to the end, drilled a hole in it, and tied the lure string to the end of the pipe. Then, I drilled two more holes and run this little stick through the pipe. Purpose of that, twofold. Main reason is, when the rat's in there, so say, say Theomba didn't cash in the right spot and I had to pull the rat in the pipe, right? So, Mink are pretty smart and about her second try she figured out all she's got to do is sit and pull on this string and eventually a rat pops out and she gets her rat back. Well, uh oh, here comes the Mink. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, <laughs> she this little stick stops the rat from getting past that point. So, um, then the rat can't escape, or, or not escape, but be pulled out and retrieved by the mink. She's going on a walk, apparently. Um, second is, when I, when I travel like this, I don't bring an extra cage for the rat. I actually have a rat in the pipe. So right now, oh, I think you can, can you see it? Yep. There's a little live rat in there, see? And what I do is loop this end of the string around the stick and uh, the rat can't get out of the end because of the harness stops it. Stops at the end of the string and he can't come out this end because the stick stops the string. See, there's a the rat tail. The rat stopped, see? The rat's trying to get out. Boom, the stick stops him. This is a two inch pipe. I started out with a smaller diameter, found out that only really small and, and maybe some medium sized rats fit in it. Couldn't fit any larger, so larges and jumbos needed a two inch, so I got a two inch. So, um, another addition is you see I got this thicker st um, uh, string, same stuff I use for mink harnesses and leashes. Works great because it gives you, uh, you can pull on it, it doesn't hurt your hand. However, it's too bulky for the rat. So, let's see if I can get my mink to be distracted. She looks pretty distracted. Let me show you what the rat's got here. Okay, gotta do this real quick before the mink sees. Okay, see, so I've got the rat attached to this light little line, which makes it so the rat can move around more freely. Oops. Be quiet, rat. You don't want to bring the mink over here. And see the light little harness? So much better on the rat. But if you use the whole string, just this light little thing, when you're trying to pull the rat up in the tube and you have to pull very hard, you either lose grip and it slips through your hand or it kind of cuts you a little bit. Oop. 
So anyway, so that's my new tube and how it works. Oh, and here's another beautiful thing. I found that when I was pulling the rat up, I never knew if I'd pulled it far enough or too far or what. When I've got this string, see the thicker string, which I use for my hand to pull, and the lighter string, which is for the rat. Sorry about that. Um, whenever I see this lighter string, I have it measured out so that I know the rat is far enough in the tube that the meat can't pull it out. So as soon as I see wider, lighter string, I know, hey, I got the rat pulled up to the right length. I just pop, sorry, I'm not doing this very good. I just take this loop that I used to tie the lighter string to the thicker string, and I just pop it over the stick, and boom, I'm good. So if, if the Omba tries to uh, cache in the wrong spot, just quickly pull that string till it's up to there, pop it over the end of that, that little little dowel. It's not really a dowel, it's a stick that I, I whittled, but anyway. Pop it over that and drop the drop the pipe and walk away. She can't pull it out this way because of the stick, and she can't reach the rat at the end of the pipe. So that's my new new uh, and improved um, cash training pipe. So now we've got to the point where now I got to train the Omba to pull a rat out of the hole. Um, this is the hardest part of caching training. Now, I've done this a few times with her already in a, in a hole that I made. Um, a short dead end hole is the best one to start with. However, a short dead end hole is extremely hard to find, so you pretty much have to make one. I made one, used it a couple times, she did perfectly, but it's no real test um, if she's already done the proper training. So, let's see. You see, this is a big, long, dry culvert. I'm going to set up the camera here, and I'm going to set up this uh, flashlight here so I can see what's going on, see if she's taking it down or if she's pulling it away from us or pulling it to us. If she pulls it away from us for very far, then I pull it up in the pipe. If she pulls it to us, then I just let her keep pulling it to us till she puts it in her box. If she comes out and doesn't put it in the box, starts running away with it, of course, I pull it in the tube. So let's get this started. Okay, I don't know how much of this you guys will be able to see. But we're going to try and get a video. I'm sure you watched the rat rotten past. That's all. Fortunately, the mink's bigger, so maybe you can see the mink. We'll see what we can see at the end of the video here. Okay, I'm going to go get the mink. Now, I'm going to give her a, a little call. And uh, what I'm doing is, I'm saying here, 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 here. And what it does is it teaches her to look in the hole that I'm patting and saying here, here, here. I found while hunting that there were times when a rat, muskrats usually, disappeared in a hole where the mink couldn't find it. Usually an underwater hole where the mink couldn't follow its trail. And we saw it go there, but the mink couldn't smell it going in that hole. And it didn't happen very often, but when it did, it was extremely frustrating because the mink couldn't find their muskrat. And we knew exactly where it was, but we could never tell her where it was. So I'm giving this new command. It's here, 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 and I pat the hole to help her to find a hidden rat. So I'm going to start teaching her that new uh, little cue today. So I'm going to go get Miss Diomba. Here, 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 Find the rats, sweetheart. There she comes. No. Good girl. 
girl. Good girl. So, I don't know how much you guys can see. I'll have to review that video, but the Omba, I made two mistakes here. Um, first mistake was I let the rat run to the very end of the line. Why that was a mistake is as soon as the Omba grabbed it, she tried to run away and I made and she felt the end of the line. Boom. When she hit the end of that line, she knew, oh crap, the rat's about to disappear because I took it away. And she started running back to the box. She shouldn't have hit the end of that line. She should have had to make the choice, not felt forced to to cash. Another mistake I made it was a bad habit from my last training methods with my other mink that I've tried to do this with, which was I'd give them verbal disapproval when they tried to cash in the wrong spot and I'd say no. Well, I kind of decided, and you know, this is still just a big experiment, so maybe I'll change my mind again, but I've decided that it's probably best if I do not get involved in the negative aspect. So when the rat disappears, it's the pipe's fault. He just swallowed the rat. It's not my fault. I didn't do anything. And if I say no, then it's pretty obvious to her that I did something. So anyway, I made two mistakes here, which it ended up being okay. The Omba brought the rat right to the box, was running, because she knew the rat was about to disappear because she made a mistake. She should have had to make that choice on her own instead of being forced to basically because she felt the end of the string she did it on her own i didn't drag her but the problem is is she'll learn to test it hey is this on a string is it not on a string can i get away with it or can i not she shouldn't have that testing she should uh bring it straight to the box regardless of whether she feels a string so anyway it's okay uh, as part of training is i gotta learn too so next time i'm gonna make sure the rat's nowhere near the end of the line so that uh, the Omba, if she takes it to the end of the line, I can quickly pull it. Part of my problem too is the fact that I was making a video, which means I, I was doing two things at once. So anyway, sorry you guys aren't going to get to see the next one because i got to concentrate here and make sure I'm training my mink correctly. But She did a good job because she corrected herself the minute she felt that string, so that's a good thing. It's just too bad that she had to feel that string in order to... Uh, do the right thing now she might have changed her mind when she got to the end of the tunnel and brought it back who knows but anyway we'll um, see if we can fix that problem and uh, hopefully we, it'll go even better next time and she'll, she'll just bring it straight there but I got I gotta give it to her though I mean man she she the minute she felt that string she's like oh crap <laughs> the rat's gonna go and <laughs> she come running down here blew past me and shoved it in the box so um, she's a smart girl. I just gotta make sure she doesn't outsmart me here and start. Because if she learns the difference between a rat and a string and a rat not on a string, which is really easy for me to figure out, then they, man, she'll only cash when the rat's on a string. And that's not, that's not the point. The point is for her to cash when she's catching wild prey. So, anyway, show you more later.